Okay, so I have wanted to watch the Netflix drama Terrace House for such a long time, but I never pulled the trigger until now, until this weekend. I decided to start with the newest season, Tokyo 2019-2020, rather than going back and starting from the beginning. And I think I made the right decision because apparently the show is currently at its peak right now, even though we've already had a few seasons. <laughs> So the premise, what is this Japanese show, Terrace House? Well, if you've ever wondered what Japanese people in Japan, ages 20 or 30 to so, are actually like in real life, this is your show. I've lived in Japan a lot in recent years and the people in the show literally remind me of my friends that I've met and just people I've met at Japanese university and their friends. And it's such a surreal experience that this is actually on TV. Well, it's on Netflix in Japanese and it's subtitled in English, but it was originally so popular on Japanese TV that Netflix picked it up and partnered with the show. So basically, six Japanese people in pretty much their 20s live in a house with the main intention of finding a counterpart and dating. And it's a reality romance show, but normally when you think of a reality show, you think of screaming fake idiots and absolutely no one wants to see that, right? Like five seconds of that and I'm just gonna vomit. But this show is very much so real. The cameras follow these people to their real jobs in Japan. The full-on brawls for a date with another person are 100% fought mentally between prestigious college graduates, some successful people and some younger people, and it's a fascinating sight to see. Like, usually reality TV is filled with idiots. Terrace House 2019-2020 is top Japanese university students, successful artists, and musicians. You get to see real Japanese restaurants, how people actually speak in Japan. There's so much subtext and Japanese culture and formality just intertwined into the show that I almost don't even know how it's popular overseas, but it is. And unless you live in Japan or have Japanese friends, I feel like a lot of the complex subtlety in their simple actions and words may go right over your head. But the show solves that problem. There's a handful of older Japanese commentators and famous personalities from other Japanese shows that are just not on Terrace House, they're on other shows as well, and they consistently chime in with their own opinion and let you know what's going on after something interesting happens, maybe let you know about Japanese culture, which is probably super helpful for a foreign viewer. Now for me, part of me enjoys the commentators' exaggerated, somewhat fake drama-inducing opinions, but at the same time, not only do I hate the constant commentary review of every single show on Japanese television, including Terrace House, but I already understand the Japanese subtext and their commentary kind of just removes me from the reality of the show. So personally, it annoys me just a little bit, but honestly, over time, it's just become more and more funny. Like I'm enjoying the commentators even more as I've watched the show. And even though they do provide some witty insight to Japanese culture, they kind of already say what you're already thinking. But anyways, the show is beautifully shot. It's it's wonderfully scored. Like the music always comes in at the right time. They pick some really great songs. It's relaxing, it's intriguing, and you have to wonder what exactly is the motivation for these younger successful Japanese people that they allow themselves to just be filmed because that's definitely not a Japanese thing to do. That's kind of weird, but they obviously get paid the more they interact and they gain more fame for being on the show, which is super valuable for these up and coming smaller artists and musicians and actors. And the house itself is just crazy nice. They're given super expensive cars. They can drive whenever they want, probably food. I don't know what else, but they have a decent reason to be there, right? And they're still allowed to live their normal lives. Like they go to work, they hang out with their own friends. It's literally life in Japan just being filmed which is so just crazy to me. The show has blown up internationally. It's literally the reality show for people who absolutely hate reality shows like me. And you will become more and more invested in these real people. You will find out who they hate, who they like, why none of them are good enough for Kaori chan because she's way too good for this show. But yeah, I wanna get into the show for people who are actually watching in another video. Basically the show lets you just like watch Japanese people be human and it's not overly dramatic or fake it's kind of dramatic but it's honestly just interesting as hell if you like japan i mean the colors are muted and calm the people are very composed and it's like a mental battle for love and affection and everything between genuinely 
interesting and real people. Well, except Haruka, she's, she's boring as hell. But I wanna get into the characters more in the next video, so please subscribe if you wanna see that. Please go watch Terrace House, it's on Netflix and it's extremely entertaining. I haven't seen the earlier seasons, but I highly recommend you start with Tokyo 2019-2020 because they're in Japan and and it's just, it's really interesting. So yeah, like this video and subscribe. I know no one's probably watching this, but if you like Terrace House or if you're watching it on Netflix, I want to talk with you guys about it. So yeah, subscribe if you want to do that. Bye. <laughs>